Hi guys, it's Cosmo, um, here with the one week update, yay, I just gave myself my second shot, um, so the way that they told me to do it is to, because it's a subcutaneous shot, you can do it, um, basically where you can, like, pinch some fat, so, like, on the side of your thigh, or on, like, around your navel area, or, like, um, the side of your stomach, or if you have someone else giving it to you, they can do it, like, on your upper arm, just like pinch the skin right here. Uh, so subcutaneous it basically means like in the fat underneath the skin. Um, so yeah, it's much less deep than an intramuscular shot. Intramuscular. Um, so needle isn't as big. Uh, needle is very very small. Yay! Uh, I feel like I mentioned that in the last video, but I can't remember. I can never remember what I say in these videos. I'm sorry, cause like I think of all these things to say in the videos, and then I say some of them, and then I leave some of them out. But they're all in here, you know? <laughs> so anyway, uh, just want to go through some of the changes that I've experienced so far because there have been changes, even though it's only been a week, which is cool. <laughs> um, some of the changes are not so cool, but you know, it's it's puberty. It's a second puberty, so what can you do? Uh, so uh, let's start. I'm just going to name as many as I can think of. There might be some that I miss. Um, uh, we'll see. So, first off, uh, start with the not-so-happy one. Uh, yes, acne is a thing. So, um, I have always kind of had acne. Like, I've always been, like, really oily skin and stuff like that. Um, I think either, like, the day before or the weekend of my first shot, I went out and got, like, a whole bunch of, like, Neutrogena, like, acne face washes and then, like, wipes so that, that I could take to work because when I go to work, I can't really, like, wash my face anymore. So having just, like, their, um, their pink grapefruit scented wipes that you can just do once over and they help get rid of a lot of the oil and stuff, which is great. I like it a lot, but even though the, uh... <laughs> The grapefruit smell stays with you for like an hour after, which is intense. <laughs> but good for me because I like grapefruit, but I'm just worried about everybody else because I'm like, oh, it smells like grapefruit in here. Oh, it's again. It's every day. What's going on? <laughs> but yeah, so those have been helpful. Um, the downside of like all the acne washes and stuff is that it has like an acid in it that like will dry out your skin really bad. So I've been trying to use like face lotion alongside it, but um, because when I sleep I tend to drool when I sleep so it like dries out the side of my mouth. I don't know if you can tell on camera, um, it like makes it really red and then irritated skin and then um, it actually got to the point where it like it's been worse than it has ever been before and I think it is because of the acne wash um, like my skin was like cracking and it was getting like scaly and bits were like flaking off and like it was bleeding and it was just awful so I, I'm cutting back on the acne wash a little bit um, and what I did today actually I, so I know that this can like lead to acne but it helped a lot um, I took chapstick and I just went all over it. It was like clear chapstick or brown, so it didn't show off like red chapstick or anything like that. So I just went over. I can, it's still kind of on. It made it uh, a lot less irritated and it's actually like not super dry anymore, which is... Thank you chapstick! <laughs> I'm glad I had some extra to take to work with me. So yeah, um, I don't think that dryness um, is a side effect of testosterone. I think it was just the acne wash. But uh, yeah, acne is happening. Um, that was expected though. So, you know, you deal with it the best you can. <laughs> I feel like, especially from my mom's side of the family, like my brothers as well, I've all had like really bad acne. So I'm like, ooh, it's gonna get worse, isn't it? <laughs> um, hopefully I can keep it in check. But if not, then, you know, you can always go to a dermatologist and they'll recommend you some stuff. Um, okay. So beyond that, some other stuff. So voice, I don't really know if it's gotten deeper, but it's been easier to hit like deep notes. Um, I think it was like a little tender, like around here, not here, just here, but that could also just be like allergies. And that was one of the first days that I took my first shot. So it was probably just allergies, <laughs> but um, yeah, I'll, I'll try to like put a comparison in this video of like today to my first week because it I feel like it's gotten deeper, but just barely. Like I'll give it another week and then like compare it to the first video again um, from when I got my first shot. So 
I look forward to that in a week. Oh, actually, I'm gonna be out of state in a week, so maybe two weeks from now. Um, we'll see if I can, I'll bring my camera with me and I'll see if I can make an update, a two week update uh, next week. Cause uh, I'm going to visit my grandma, yeah. Hi guys, it's Cosmo. Um, uh, well, other changes. Uh, I haven't lost any hair yet. Hooray. Um, no changes in the hair. Have, uh, the hair actually has not been any more oily than it has been previously, which is good because I tend to have like chronic oily hair. <laughs> so um, something that helps with that, by the way, is when you when you shampoo. So only shampoo every other day, as they always recommend. Uh, but when you do shampoo, shampoo twice in a row so that you can like, it really gets in there because the oil in your hair um, or on your scalp can actually like break down the shampoo and make it less effective. So if you do it twice, then you'll do it once and it'll like break down some of the shampoo and you'll get it all out, you'll rinse it all out, then do it again and then it'll actually clean your scalp and your hair and everything. And then you condition, it feels so soft. Like the first time I tried that, doing the two shampoos and then condition, my hair was like so much softer. I was like, oh. <laughs> Also watch the kind of shampoos you use. Um, Pantene is not great uh, for oily hair, I have learned, so uh, there's that. Uh, I feel like the lighting is changing a little bit because it's getting like darker outside. There's clouds and stuff, so if the lighting's not consistent, I apologize. Um, what else has changed? Uh, oh, I started working out again because I skipped a few weeks because I had some Crohn's disease stuff. Uh, appointments to take care of and I went into anesthetics and I was like, yeah, you know, I should wait a week and after um, anesthetics to work her out again. And then I ended up waiting like a month. <laughs> so, um, I actually skipped a day working out this week because on Tuesday I went and got a vaccine in my arm, you know, just basic upper arm vaccine. Um, and it made my entire upper arm swell up, <laughs> which was not fun. Um, I'm actually still feeling it a little bit. Um, it got to the point where I, I couldn't extend my, my elbow completely, like, I couldn't go, like, flat, straight arm out. Um, it hurt. <laughs> it's still, like, a little tender, but it's, it's, I think by, like, tomorrow morning it should be, like, A-OK. -okay. Um, so I'll try to work out tomorrow, it'll be great. Um, I don't know if it's because of the testosterone, but um, I have noticed uh, my arms are bigger. Um, I know it's only been a week, and it is most likely because I've been working out, and the tes I know testosterone can like help you gain muscle. Um, but I feel like even though I skipped like almost an entire month of not working out, I haven't actually like lost that muscle because it just came like like the day after, a couple days after I worked out, I was looking at my arms and I'm like, oh my god, they're big. <laughs> So that's good. I haven't lost muscle. Um, I may have gained a pound or two, which is cool because I've always been kind of lightweight. Um, and you know, it's muscle weight, so I guess I hope it is. Um, I think I have been burning because uh, part of my workout routine is to do uh, leg exercises and hip exercises. So I think that I've been burning the fat off my hips a lot too, so that's cool. Um, I'm getting a more square body, I've noticed, and like my shoulders are a little broader as well, so that's really exciting. It's like very barely noticeable, but um, I have been noticing it and I'm very excited about it. I'm gonna continue working out. Um, yeah, it'll be great. So cool. Uh, it's just, it's just very satisfying to work on things about your body and then have them actually work out, you know? <laughs> have them actually change in the way that you want. So that's really cool. Um, oh, I guess one thing I forgot to mention about the acne is that a lot of it is happening like around the chin area, and I hear that that can happen when like your hairs start to grow in, and it like traps oil in there, um, like in your pores and stuff. Like it'll trap stuff in your pores, and that can lead to acne. So, getting acne like in this area could be a sign that you know facial growth is going in. Ooh. <laughs> so that's very exciting. Um, and then hair growth. Haven't really seen anything. Um, any other kind of like um, 
yeah, there haven't been like a lot of changes yet. It's only been a week. So, um, I'm still keeping an eye on things. Uh, oh, emotional changes. So, um, true to being a hormone, my emotions have been hormonal. <laughs> Not like PMSing or anything like that. Um, and a lot of it is probably just like me being very excited to finally be on testosterone. Uh, but yeah, it's been like really weird. It's not bad and it's not good either, it's just weird. It's just like the hormonal imbalance, like things are trying to balance themselves out and I can feel it happening and so it's like everything's kind of weird right now. Um, but yeah, it's not bad so far at least, which is good. It's not bad so it's good, you know. That's how it works, right? <laughs> um, and then the last one is um, slightly not safe for work talk, so if you want to skip to the end, that's okay. Um, bottom growth. Uh, yes. <laughs> um, only a little bit. Uh, I won't go into vivid details, but it's enough to where like I can notice it during the daytime and it's like I can feel it, um, which is weird to say and it's weird to talk about this. Why am I talking about this? But. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's happening. Yeah, I know, I know that was one of the first things that people say would start changing is bottom growth. So, yep, yeah, it's happening. Um, other things that people said would, like, be almost instantaneous is, like, your urine changing smell. And I haven't really noticed that. Uh, just It still just smells like piss to me. So, yeah, uh, I can't really tell with that one. Um, however, my sense of smell in general has been better recently, like after I started tea, um, and I don't know why. I asked around and apparently nobody else has had this, like, revelation where, a rev revelation, um, where your, your sense of smell just gets, like, infinitely better for some reason. Um, but, oh, dryer just stopped. Um, I always seem to film these when, like, the dryer's going. I'm sorry, guys. Um, but yeah, so my substance smell has been a lot more acute. It might be, like, I know testosterone will make you hungry, um, so that might be linked to it. Like, everything seems to, like, and it's not like, um, uh, like, during a shark week, my sense of smell will get, like, a huge spike in intensity, um, and that can actually, like, make me really nauseous. Like, it's, it's kind of, kind of bad, but this time, like, my sense of smell has gotten stronger, but it's not bad at all. Like, everything pretty much smells good to me. Um, which is great, you know? I like being able to smell things and things smelling good. So that's neat. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't feel like I've been sweating any more than usual. Um, again, haven't really felt that much oilier than my usual self. We'll see if that changes soon enough. Um... And I think that's about it. So this is 13 and a half minutes long. I think that's good. Um, I gave myself my second shot already. Um, both of them have been in the stomach, so next comes the thighs. I think I'll start with the right. Uh, or maybe I'll just go like clockwise. So right stomach, left stomach, left thigh, right thigh, and back to stomach. Um, ooh, uh, one thing I didn't want to talk about is prescriptions and pharmacies. So. I put in my prescription two weeks ago, um, had my first shot last week, uh, so you would think that I got everything, right? Mm -mm. So first things first, um, so the testosterone, they only had one of the, I think, four vials that I needed. Uh, one is enough to do a dose or several, so I'm lucky in that regard that they had one. Um, and they put in that order for more, um, two weeks ago. So, it's been two weeks and they still haven't gotten their order in. They're completely backlogged. Which sucks, but, uh, what can you do, I guess? Um, yeah, again, I'm, I'm just lucky that this one vial has lasted me a few doses. Um, and then, like, the syringes and needles and stuff they had to order, and that took, like, almost a full week, and I got super lucky they got the syringes in, like, the day before my appointment last week. So I was just 
barely able to make it and get my first dose last week. So yeah, that was scary. Um, yeah, so just be careful if you're going on testosterone, like what pharmacy you choose, like do a little bit of research. Um, I unfortunately did not. Um, I'm, I'm using Safeway, I don't know if I said that already. Uh, I hear that CVS is also pretty bad about getting testosterone in particular. So I kind of want to try Costco. Uh, I know that they've been good for several um, prescription medications that my family has had in the past. So that might be an alternative. Um, I don't know what else. What other pharmacy? Maybe Walgreens. Uh, yeah. Who knows? Maybe I'll try a local grocery store. I know. <sighs> I can have some uh, pharmacies. So yeah, okay. That's about all I had to say. I probably should have put that, um, that, uh, uh, you know, pharmacy part in the beginning of the video, but oh well. Okay. Anyways, see you guys later. Bye.